So today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick hydrangea. Um, starting off here with some ivory florist paste, which I'm just going to knead quickly. I've chosen ivory because my finished flower is going to be sort of brown and peachy tones. So once that's nicely kneaded, you just need to pinch a small amount off, put the rest back in your bag. And then I'm just going to take a small amount of veg fat and rub that onto my cell pad. So this is the firm side up. And I'm just going to now press that into the board. Dust a little bit of corn flour. And then I've got my cell pin here, which I'm going to use just to roll the paste out. Once that's nice and thin, I'm going to turn it over and I have a hydrangea cutter here. This is something that I bought as a set of three just from eBay for a couple of quid um, and I've got the smallest size here. I use both the small and the medium usually for making hydrangea. Um, I haven't actually used the large one, I find it too big. So I'm just going to centre that. and then cut out. I'm just going to push down the paste, make sure it's all removed before I lift off the excess. Put the rest back in my bag and then I can just push the petal out. So I'm now going to turn the board over to the softer side and I'm going to place it over the large hole with the lump side down and dust it with a bit of corn flour again. I've got my cell pin. I'm going to use the cell pin to just work the petals out a bit to make them a slightly larger and then concentrating on the ends of the petals to make sure they're nice and thin. So you're not working the centre at all, you want to keep that fairly thick because that will help you in the end when you're shaping. But certainly the petals you want to keep nice and thin, especially the edges. So you just go around and do the same for each of the four petals. Once I've done all four, just gonna get rid of this bit. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it over. So back on the firm side. I find this side is better when using the veining tool as it helps to give a better impression. So working with the center, uh, sorry, the end of the veining tool towards the center of the flower. I'm going to start from the outer edge of the petal and push it down and work it towards the centre and then do the same on the other side of the petal, so going from the out to the centre. Let's put a bit more corn flour on there. And pressing pretty hard when I do this so it gives a really good impression on the petal. So the outer, the pet outer edge of the petal Moving it down to the centre and the same again for the last one. Just like that. And you can see that it's already started to shape the petals quite nicely. So I'm now going to take um, my wire. This is a 26 gauge and it's been cut to the fifth, a fifth of the length of the wire. You could go for a quarter length if you wanted, um, depending on how you're going to arrange your hydrangea at the end. Um, will depend on the length of the wire, but I've gone for a fifth of a length here. And I'm just going to make a really small hook in the end of the wire using my needle nose pliers. 
So just like that. And then I'm going to dip the hooked end into a little bit of water and tap off the excess. This is the tiniest amount just to help it sort of stick together. And then you take your flower and thread the non-hooked end of the wire through the bottom, uh, through the top of the flower and out through the back. And then I'm just going to squeeze the base of the flower and then I'm going to start to work this paste just down the length of the wire. So I'm just twisting and squeezing it down the length. So you've got a nice end here which is narrow and I don't want all of that paste so I'm going to pinch the end off to shorten it. And then you finish just by squeezing the middle to sort of cover the hooked end and that will give it a nice shape just like that and then I like to dry them by hanging them upside down so I'm just going to bend the wire over like that and then that will just go in a styrofoam block to dry upside down and that's it so we then let them dry and then they're ready for dusting So my hydrangea is now dried and ready for dusting and I'm going to use some fairly earthy tones here. So I've got a bit of terracotta and a sort of reddy brown colour here and then a lighter peach. I'm going to mix them together and just start dusting. And you should have lovely veined effect from your veining tool which just tends to catch the colour of the dust slightly differently. So I'm going to dust the front and the back of the petals. gone all over in this colour and now I'm just going to use the browner colour just to go and do the edges. that's it. So obviously you can use whatever colour combination you like on your hydrangea. It'd be worth looking on Google to find some different ideas of how you could colour your flowers. Um, but this is for a cake which is going to have these kind of earthy tones to it. And that's it. <laughs>